shares of your blog are like gold. Having anybody come to your blog page and want to share it with their audience is the best capital that you have on your blog. So we want to make it as easy as humanly possible for all of your readers and audience to be able to share your blog posts with as many people on as many platforms as possible. So today, this is video number three of our Pinterest reboot. And today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on your blog itself, uh, adding some HTML code and a sharing plugin to make sure that it is super, super, super simple for your audience to share your content. So my name is Jen Tokenyuk, your digital CEO, and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to go into your WordPress dashboard and we're going to install a sharing plugin. Now, if you already have a sharing plugin that you love, awesome, bear with me for a couple seconds, uh, but I'm gonna show you why I use the one I use and who knows, you might even wanna switch over. So if you're not on wordpress.org, if you're on wordpress.com or you have a Wix site, I highly recommend that you switch as soon as financially and physically possible. Having a WordPress.org blog is so much more user friendly. You have the ability to add plugins, to have con total control over the HTML and the code of your site, as well as the look of it and the ownership of it. So if you can do that, do it as soon as possible. In the email today, I included a link to a blog post that's my no fluff guide to starting a blog this afternoon. I'll also put it down in the comments here on YouTube. So to install a plugin for anybody who's new, I'm going to do this real fast. Go into your dashboard and you're going to go to this little button down here that says plugins. Okay. And we're going to go to add new. And whenever I record my screen. It's very slow. So bear with me here because we're going to add this plugin. The plugin that we're going to add is called add to any share. So you just search plugins and type in add to any and it's going to pop up for us. Now, if for some reason you prefer to go into the codex, um, you can go here and download it and then upload it back into your uh, WordPress dashboard, but this is much easier. So mine's already installed, but you'll go ahead and you're gonna click install now. That's what it'll say if it's not installed yet, kind of like this one does. So you'll click install now, then you'll click activate and it will be all ready to go. So. Let me go to the settings for that, just so I can show you how I set it up. So add to any is gonna show up in your settings once it's installed. And here's the way that I set mine up on my blog, because I like to have them floating down the left-hand side so that people always have access to a share button no matter where they're at on my page. So what I do is I only have a couple of services listed because I want to encourage people to share my content in a place where I have an audience. So for me, that is Facebook, that's Pinterest. I'm flirting around with Twitter. Uh, but right now I'm really only having the Pinterest and the Facebook buttons on my blog. Now, what's cool about add to any share is that it has this universal button. The universal button will expand and what it will do, I'll show you on my blog itself, is it will give your readers options to share anywhere they like. And there's tons of different options on there. So I do display this at the bottom of all my posts. I display it at the bottom of all my pages and I display it everywhere that I can. Now, we're also gonna go over to floating because that's important. I like 32 pixels, by the way, but you can change you know, the icon style. There's a bunch of different ones, transparent. Uh, you can kind of play around with it, but the floating is the best part. So I keep it left docked. Um, and then that way it scrolls with my reader so they don't have to scroll all the way to the bottom or all the way back up to the top to share my content. I want it to be really, really easy for them. So that's the only one that I do. And then you just hit save changes and you're good to go. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do now that our plugin is installed, and this is what it looks like once it gets there. Um, it'll be on the left hand side of my blog. See, these are the little buttons. So 
From here, you can share this to Pinterest, you can share it to Facebook, or it'll pop up and it shows some of the most common ones. But if you click on more, like literally it gives you all these different options. So that's why it's my favorite, um, besides the fact that it left docs and it scrolls with you. See how you don't lose it when you start scrolling through posts? I like it and it's free, which makes me like it even more. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our our customize, okay? So you can find that under appearance or you can go directly to the WordPress dashboard and it should be right here, customize your site. So we have two different options, okay? In the customization screen, go underneath theme settings and then header footer scripts, okay? So to use all the Pinterest pin it buttons, um, any sort of Pinterest widgets, you have to have the Pinterest footer script put in the footer. So the basic footer script basically ends right where my cursor is. You would just put the end script there and then that will allow you to use any of the Pinterest code from Pinterest.com. Now, if you want to be able to have these little hover buttons like I have that pop up like this on all of my images, this is the code to do that. So data pin hover equals true. And don't worry, this is all in the email. Uh, it's also in a post that I will put in the link in the comments as well. So I'll have a couple different post links down there. But data pin hover true, uh, data pin round, because I like the round one. If you don't want the round one, you can have a square one. And this is a tall one. Um, some of the other ones are littler and they're harder to see. I want them to be so easy for my readers to see. But see how that will pop up on all of the images on my blog? I really like that. So you need to add this to the footer script and then hit publish. And then you'll be able to, you know, again, use any sort of Pinterest code, any sort of, you know, data pin uh, code that there is. And we're going to be using another data pin code to add descriptions to our blog images. So you want, don't skip this step. Okay, so you'd hit publish and you'd get out of here. So our next thing is we are actually going to upload a pin. So I love Gutenberg blocks. Um, I used to use the classic editor in WordPress and I really like fought going to Gutenberg for a long time. Now I absolutely love it. So when you go to add a Gutenberg block, you hit this little plus sign and it gives you a lot of different options here. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload an image. Now the image that you created on day one should be hiding somewhere on your desktop <laughs> or wherever you chose to put it. But I always put mine in a little folder called new pins and I have a lot of stuff in here. But let me find one. Um, eh, it doesn't really matter. Okay, how to make a full-time income blogging for beginners, okay? This is also very similar to the title of the post that I created this for. And you'll notice that in day one, I did say make sure to name your pin image something that has your keywords and your blog title in it because this is gonna come to play in the HTML. So here we go, we're gonna open this and hooray, here it is. A uh, quick tip for you is I like to have my pin images centered. So I'll hit this to align center. And then I don't want this massive pin on my page. So I hit this little 50% guy down here and it makes it just look a heck of a lot better. Like if you go and let's look at one of my recent blog posts, um, you'll see that I don't have this massive pin image on my screen. I have this guy, which you know, it still looks good, but it's not taking up massive amounts of space or massive amounts of uh, bandwidth because <laughs> we don't want that either. So here we are, we have our 50% image. If you start messing with this large medium thing, it doesn't work the same way. So try to avoid that and just go to the 50% if you want to do it that way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to edit this as an HTML. So that's under these little dots, edit as HTML, okay? So it's going to give us the HTML code. Now notice how we have full-time income blogging, which are my keywords for that post, in the HTML. Google can see that. And I, one of the snippets that I captured recently shows about four of my pins in my Google snippet. And I know they're pulling them from my blog because I SEO optimized for Google 
in my pin title that I saved on my computer. So now what we're gonna do is you're gonna grab the code that is in the email or in the Pinterest blog post that's down in the, in the comments here. Uh, by the way, if you want all five of these videos and access to all the emails so that you have everything in one place, make sure to subscribe uh, in the third link that's down <laughs> in the comments. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this code. And to add your pin description, you're going to add data pin description, okay, equals quotes. Okay. Let's see if eh, that would have been awesome, but let's hold on. Let's not do that. You're going to love this. <laughs> I let you guys in on everything I do. Okay. That's the, the email. It will say convert to HTML uh, whenever you leave the page. So don't stress it. I'm going to show you how that works. So to add that data pin description, this always goes right after the height, right toward the end of, of this. So data pin description, quotes, copy that in, end quote, space. Okay. So now what this is going to do is when anybody pins this image from your blog, the, the pin description and the hashtags are going to show up on their pins, which is awesome. Unfortunately, right now there is no way to get your pin title on there through code. I'm hoping that that's something that they'll fix in the future. And if they do, you will see a video from me about it. Um, also I did, um, mention the alt tags. So see how my alt tags are missing because I just uploaded this and there was no way for me to go in and, and write my alt tags. You always want to fill these in because again, these are really keyword sensitive. So I would, you know, write exactly what's written on my pin, make a full time income blogging. Okay. And we're going to add it there. All right. Then go back to our little dots and we're going to actually just go to preview. Um, I already clicked that button that said convert to HTML. Um, that button will pop up every time. Just click it. It's a blue button. And then don't stress that this isn't centered and stuff. It will be after you publish your blog post. So uh, I typically uh, embed two images on each of my blog posts. I try to put one up at the top and then I put one all the way almost all the way down at the bottom. This was a really long post, but all of these are optimized. This is that round pin it button. You can see that you can also pin from here and it's going to show you, oh, I need to optimize all these images, uh, but it's going to show you all the different images on this page that you can pin. Um, in the post that will be the second link in the comments down there, I show you the code to be able to hide images like this from being pinned because you really don't want those out there on Pinterest. You only want people to pin your optimized images that have good descriptions, hashtags, etc. So I'm excited because a lot of people get really scared of code and I geek out on code. I absolutely love code. I think it's the most fun thing ever uh, to be able to just go in and tinker around with code and, and make my site exactly the way I want it to be. So let me know if you have any questions on this. Um, I'm always happy to, to elaborate a little bit further. So tomorrow, tomorrow's video is going to be really, really cool because as tempting as it may be right now for you to go and pin this brand new, optimized, beautiful SEO, uh, pin <laughs> right onto Pinterest. I want you to wait. So I want you to wait because tomorrow what we're going to do, we're going to create a brand new Pinterest board that is super optimized for this pin. And I'm going to show you how to populate that board to get it rolling right away. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe and check out the links in the comments. And if you like what you're getting here, subscribe to my channel as well. I try to give you guys everything I learn as I go along the way. It's, it's a lot of fun for me and I hope it helps you. Have a great day.